In this video, the procedure for releasing the convertible top latch when the sunroof cable fails is shown. This gives access to the sunroof components for repair. Begin by lowering all front and rear quarter windows completely. Working at the headliner just behind the sunroof, pull off the trim panel and remove from vehicle. The trim panel has two fasteners at each side attaching it to the convertible top. When the sunroof fails, access to these fasteners is not possible. When the trim panel is pulled away, the fastener mounting points on the trim panel will break. The trim panel will have to be replaced. Once the ends are detached, pull the center of the trim panel away and detach the trim panel clips. Next, the sunroof drive motor is removed. Begin by disconnecting the electrical connectors. Remove the three T27 Torx fasteners. Support the motor when removing. Remove drive motor from sunroof. Using a plastic prying tool, lever down to open the convertible top A-pillar latches. If latches will not open, gently push sunroof back toward rear of vehicle until end stop is reached. With help from an assistant, push convertible top toward rear of vehicle and lift out of A-pillar latches. Working in the luggage compartment, remove access panel for convertible top hydraulic pump. Then, remove the luggage compartment light. Using a 4mm Allen, loosen the emergency shutoff valve on the hydraulic pump. Rotate counterclockwise about 360 degrees, or one full turn. With help from an assistant, manually lift and lower convertible top into stowed position. The top will move slowly as hydraulic fluid moves through the cylinders and lines. Once opened, the sunroof top bar can be serviced. 